Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel again. In this video, we'll learn how can we deploy our Node.js API on Heroku. So I'm using free account and uh, if uh, I go through the, uh, my project for uh, API, here you can see uh, these are basically auth API and uh, if I'm gonna register, uh, it will ask for uh, unique email every time so from there uh, you can register and you will get an access token also uh, you can uh, make login with uh, the user which we had register and uh, by using the token this is a JWT JSON web token and uh, we can uh, get the user also so there you uh, just need to pass you uh, XOT token inside header and uh, it will give uh, detail of the user like his name, email, or whether he's admin or not and at which date user has been created. So for this um, I'm using Node.js and uh, Express. Also uh, for database I'm using MongoDB, Altas and if you don't know how to uh, set up the, your cluster in on MongoDB. Uh, I have separate video on this and uh, I'll Paste the link in the description you can uh, you can go with the video also if you want uh, the Code of uh, this uh, auth API uh, I'll see a uh, place uh, com Make comment uh, I'll share uh, my git repo there so uh, let's work. First of all, uh, the things we need, you have to install uh, uh, Heroku CLI and uh, let me clear my terminal first. You need to install Heroku CLI. Also, you have to log in with uh, your Heroku account. So after uh, complete uh, your setup, your login or uh, installation Heroku CLI, uh, you can just simply uh, type Heroku login from here and uh, it will redirect to your account and for communicating your uh, application to Heroku login. After that, uh, the things uh, you have to keep in mind, first of all, you have to make some change in package.json uh, file for uh, this like uh, currently we had uh, only test so i'm gonna use here uh, start and inside start you had to use uh, a key uh, let me give some space here set uh, node underscore uh, env is equal to development and and uh, not and your entry file name I have uh, index.js copy this one and uh, just paste below then I have to use start slash or hyphen dot and there I have to set node env and here you have to change it to production then after just to remove this comma after that you have to uh, give information about uh, the engine the engine means the version you are using so here I'm gonna use uh, node hyphen V and here I'm, I'm using 12.14.1 so copy your version and uh, just separate with comma and here I'm gonna use uh, engines and inside it I'm gonna use uh, node and uh, there pass the version here save this the next thing you have to create your profile so just create a file give it name proc file should be like this inside it I'm gonna use web column and node after there you have to give the entry file name I'm gonna use index.js 
save this one now uh, the important thing uh, for this like uh, uh, if you are using uh, MongoDB Atlas and in network access like if you know uh, when we are set up our MongoDB Atlas connection uh, using cloud uh, we had to pass our public IP here so that we can communicate uh, with our database so but uh, uh, like in case of uh, deployment uh, we can our uh, node.js server at uh, some other system and we have to communicate with our database from uh, that particular system so uh, for this uh, to give it access you have to just add it and there you will get uh, the option like in place of add current ip address here uh, you will get uh, the option add uh, access your uh, database from anywhere so you just make sure check that button and it will uh, add uh, uh, 0, 0. 0. 0. 0.0.0.0 slash 0 uh, to your IP and include your IP address uh, so that you can able to access your database from anywhere and if you uh, do not do this thing uh, your API will not able to communicate with your database and uh, surely you will get some error so please make sure uh, set up for this as well so uh, next thing we have to create uh, our project on Heroku so for this we have to use command uh, Heroku create and uh, thereafter you have to give some unique name to your project so let me make zoom out uh, uh, the terminal and after that like uh, um, here I'm gonna give its name of my auth uh, API and if I'm gonna press enter it will gonna take some time and uh, there you you can see uh, we had a code uh, our uh, my auth API dot Heroku app dot com also we had got uh, the git and if I click on command click open the browser uh, it's saying uh, oh, method not allowed but we got uh, uh, the git repo link here so we'll use it later first of all let's initialize our repository git in it and after that I'm gonna use git add uh, dot that will gonna add uh, all of file and uh, after that I have to mix commit so git commit and inside message I'm gonna use uh, deploy my node express uh, api hit enter so uh, our code has been committed now uh, next thing i have to add uh, the remote file to it so i'm gonna use uh, git add and uh, remote git add remote space uh, origin and uh, here how to pass the name of origin that I got from here so just uh, command l copy this one and uh, paste here hit enter it's saying uh, Pathsec remote did not match any files. Why oh, it's saying see I think uh git at I uh, make I think I had uh change uh, uh make some mistake with command it should be git remote add origin and uh, if I'm gonna paste this one uh, there you can see uh, our uh, remote origin has been added successfully uh, I had uh, just uh, shuffle between uh, remote and add so it should be git remote add origin and your uh, git repo name git uh, uh, repo URL link after that you had to push your code so I'm gonna use git push and it should be origin and I'm gonna push it on master branch there you can see uh, our branch name is master hit enter 
it will gonna take uh, a few seconds for pushing our coat till wait and uh, if I move to index.js file there you can see uh, we had our routes uh, uh, for user and auth also I had simple uh, get request for ping that will uh, tell us whether API is live or not like if server is uh, working uh, fine and uh, if I hit uh, the our URL and uh, slash ping it will give me the API is live response so uh, we had uh, deploy successfully there you can see uh, verify deploy has been done and it gave me a link I'm gonna hit command plus click and open it in your browser what it's saying oh, oh um, um. I'm sorry uh, we have to open this one link this is our git, git rep link uh, I had to open this one there you can see uh, URL and deploy to your Heroku so we had to open this one so uh, for now it's saying could not get and if I'm gonna hit ping request let's see there you can see uh, we got response API is live now uh, I have to copy the URL uh, this should be our uh, base URL for our API and in place of uh, the localhost 5000 if I'm gonna paste the, our Heroku app link there you can see uh, my auth api dot Heroku app dot com my auth api I had to give the name of project like when I'm when I create a uh, uh, Heroku create and project name let's see whether it will work or not there you can see I'm still able to get the detail of uh, the user uh, let's uh, register a new user, new user using this uh, base URL I'm gonna just uh, paste uh, the URL here and uh, uh, as well uh, for login so that's all uh, now let's uh, uh, register with a new email there you can see uh, I got uh, the JSON web token and if I'm gonna log in with the same user uh, I got uh, JSON web token here and just copy this one uh, we're going to fetch the detail of user and inside header X auth token we need to pass uh, the token here and send there you can see I got uh, all of uh, the detail what I store in uh, my user collection so that's all for this video if you have any query or have any face any problem please write in comment section and uh, if you enjoyed this video please uh, hit like button and if you are new please subscribe my channel